What's up guys? It's currently evening here in Kashiwa and the reason I'm vlogging today is because it's a very special day. It is my anniversary with Japan. <laughs> I've actually been living here for two years. I feel like I'm thriving and really enjoying my time here. Tonight, I wanted to treat my boyfriend out just because he's helped me a lot these past two years. So we're gonna go eat Vietnamese food. Uh, it's kind of ironic because it's my two-year anniversary in Japan and we're eating Vietnamese food, but it's a really good place and it's one of the only Vietnamese restaurants here in Kashiwa. Right now, my hair's a little wet because I just showered, but I just finished my makeup. I did a little heavier today because we're celebrating. Before I start the vlog, I wanted to just talk about my second year living abroad just because it is vastly different from my first year here. Something I think everyone should do in their lifetime is live for at least two years abroad. I think the first year it can be very magical and also a lot of anxiety just because you don't know the language, you're not used to everyone, you're still meeting people and everything is just surface level. Whereas this second year, I feel like I've grown a lot more and like my connections with everyone have has really deepened, uh, especially with my students because I can speak the language a lot more naturally now. I don't have the desire to travel as frequent as I did before. I used to travel every weekend here. Another thing about living two years abroad, you don't really understand the culture fully until you've lived here more than a year. I think the first year is just like a mix of like high ups and downs, just with culture shock and like being amused by everything. I feel like I'm really getting an understanding of the culture and I feel like I'm respecting it a lot more. I have a few kind of goals that I want to set before moving back to America. One of them is to kind of figure out and narrow down my career a little bit more. Um, right now I'm teaching English at high school and I absolutely love my job, but I'm not sure that English teaching is my calling just because I enjoy it, but I don't get the same, the stimulation that I want to and I'm not learning as much as I'd like to because I am teaching a language that I already speak. So right now I'm doing yoga teacher training. I'm almost done with my program. So I'm thinking about like how I can incorporate what I've learned from this job, from my previous jobs, from my major in psychology and just like, just blend everything into one. Yeah, it's still up in the air, but I have a year to figure it out. I'm not stressed about it. Uh, in fact, I'm really enjoying having this open future that I'm not sure about because I can literally go in whichever direction I want to. So that's my goal this year. My other goal is to talk to more of my coworkers outside of our English department. Uh, I think that like being a foreigner here, you can really, really get comfortable talking to just people who are like you and people who just speak English. So my goal is to not do that. Um, I want to talk to people in like the math department who don't speak a lick of English and I'm hoping this year I can just step outside of my comfort zone. Even being in a foreign country, I know it's already out of my comfort zone, but it's so easy to be in a foreign country and stay in your comfort zone within that country. You know what I mean? Um, if you're in a foreigner, if you're a foreigner in Japan, you know what I mean by that. So my third goal is I'd really like to deepen my understanding of Japanese culture. Um, the first two years have been traveling, deepening my connections with other people around me, improving my Japanese. But this year, I want to study a little bit more into the culture, like just the history of Japan and dig a little deeper into music. Those are my three goals. Sorry if this is kind of, I don't know, it's not very rehearsed, but yeah, that's kind of what's on my mind. So now let's get started. Let me just show you guys my outfit. This is like my California winter vibe outfit, I guess. It doesn't look very warm. It's not, but it's kind of wintry. So we got the off the shoulder. It's two colored and it's a, it's a short dress, pretty short, um, but I'm wearing some knee high boots with heels that I got here in Japan. And I like this dress because it's super comfortable and I can eat a lot and still, and it'll still fit. So let's go grub. Morning you guys, 
I am on my way to the salon right now. I haven't gotten a haircut in like six months. I really don't cut my hair. It's been years since I've gotten it short. So I think I'm gonna go pretty short today because it's super damaged at the end. So this is kind of how it looks before. Say goodbye. And yeah, so weekend plans. Just gonna get my hair done, go eat some ramen and hang out with some friends tonight. So I'll take you guys with me. Let's go. Now, what do you think? It's very cute. I yeah. like short hair. He says I look like I'm in college. I'll take it. That's okay. Is what it looks like. <laughs> short. Very thick. AJ's waiting. He's starving. He had to wait for me to get my hair cut. So he's hangry. Sunday here in Japan and I am dressed right now to go hiking. This is my outfit today. This is a top that I got. I don't know what brand this is but it was from my gym. And then these are some Gymshark leggings. You can see the Gymshark symbol but I like them because they're high waist and seamless so they're very flattering. And we have started our slow ascent to the top. It's literally been like 10 feet and I'm already tired. Because it's very steep. It's Look very at this. It's steep and forest having fun. Forest, yeah. Good. <laughs> we made it. Say hi. <laughs> Feels good up here. Nice and cool. Forest is very tired. <laughs> uh, we're almost Sorry. done climbing down. Yeah. Morning. We are going to Kashiwa Eki because we're gonna have Bombay curry, which is a very well-known Indian restaurant here, and they are famous for Kashmir curry. It's super spicy but super delicious. So AG got the very infamous Kashmir curry. And it's known to be super spicy. I got it last time and I died, but it was so delicious. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get it. Enjoy! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, and wow. it's very spicy. <laughs> Oishi. Oishi? It's good. It's Oishi good. Good. We got regular Indo curry. Kind of like a soup. Curry. It's quite different from the curry we're used to, huh? Mm. Oh. Oh. This one's spicy too. Mmm. Oishi. We're at a cafe right now and. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a normal weekend vlog, but something happens and AG proposed to me. <laughs> I did not expect this to happen. I was just vlogging on a random day, but yeah, here we are. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just can't stop smiling. Like I was so shook, like I was, I couldn't even, I didn't have any emotion, but I think it's hitting me now. So, yeah. 
not this is not expected. It's almost our three year anniversary. So I'm happy it happened here in our local park because this is where we come every day. And it's kind of, I guess, the most special place and like most personal. So, Michu Rishi. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, uh, AG proposed to me. I just want to tell you real quickly how it happened. We were on the way to our local uh, cafe uh, because I was going to study Japanese and he was going to help me. And then he told me, like, I don't think you're going to be able to study. I'm like, what do you mean? Of course I can study. Right before that, we went to get Indian food with like some friends and we had no plans that day and it wasn't like, it was just an ordinary day. So I am really happy that he asked me that way. He told me that his plan was to wait till like our anniversary, which is this month. It'll be our three years. We were going to go snowboarding and then he was going to do it at the top of the mountain. But honestly, I'm glad he did it in our local park because that's kind of where we just grew our relationship together. And also we would walk our dog every day and it feels and it just feels like home. It was a very intimate moment because it was like there was really not that many people around there. So it was nice to just have our moment together. And he got on one knee and he said, um, I've been waiting five years to do this, but we met five years ago. So I guess since the day we met is what he meant. And then I couldn't really hear anything he said. I was just like, wait, I kept saying, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> the whole time. Um, but I guess he asked me, will you marry me? And I, I said, um, mochiron, which means of course in Japanese. And yeah, after that, we had a great day. We went to the spa and had a celebratory dinner feast. And I am just like on cloud nine today because I don't know, I'm going to work, but just have this on my finger casually. It's a weird feeling. I hope you guys enjoyed this casual weekend proposal vlog. I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.